Hey guys, and welcome to my newest episode. Today's episode, we're going to be learning about the Ponziani opening, and it is a great trick to use, uh, it is a great trap to use near tournament games against an aggressive opponent. It's not even aggressive also, speaking of that. And you can use it in your in your chess class. You will win with this if your opponent does not know how to respond. And believe it or not, 80% of the people fall for this trap. And that's only in the database. That's only the grandmasters and the masters, you know, like CM to GM. So like that. So you see, even masters can fall for this trap. So it's worth a shot playing this trap. I'm going to show you one of the most commonest lines. And this trick can only be played with if you're white. So if you're black, watch out. So don't fall for these moves. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done E4. Okay, now what black should do is E5. So E5. And now what we do is knight F4, knight F3, I mean. Then knight c6 happens, and then we do this is just c3, and the whole and the whole main point of this move c, you know, more control the center, and maybe we'll bring this pawn up, and this c3 pawn is used to guard the d4 square. So if this d Two pawn goes up here, then it gets this, this, and we conquer the whole thing because of this pawn also. And this pawn right here is a guard to this four pawn, which will eventually get here to d4. So, now, the most common line in this place is knight f6. And knight f6, what happens after knight f6 is you do d4, okay, as planned earlier, as planned, and we don't even care about this pawn, even though it's all the wall, the four wall, and this card, and we don't really care about this knight during e4, because we can always later do that, and we can guard it, but... Anyways, now if black gets greedy and takes the e4 pawn, what we do is d5, and we say, well, hello there. You took my pawn? Okay, I'll try to take your knight. And we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna, what, regain our pawn later. Now what will happen is knight, now, if, and now, he can't really do nothing, because if it's knight a5, then this knight is trapped after b4. Now notice, go back here, can't go here, can't go here because of this, here because of this. What's the only move left? But it can't go here, because you'll see. Knight c4. Bishop takes c4, and that knight's gone, you're, a whole, uh, you're up a whole piece, and the computer evaluation is giving plus 3 points to white. So you should be winning this. Okay, let's see, let's go back. Let's say instead of going here, he went here. And you can't really go here because that's just a waste, and... You were bringing your piece again home, but you had it make, you had, like, it's in baseball. You just stay on the home, on the home plate, but you don't go anywhere. You have to go somewhere, right? You have to giddy up somewhere and then come back to your home. So that's why we are going to be active. This black knight is going to be active. Make a couple of runs. Come back to home base. Okay. So now what do we do? Well, now we re we re get our 
pawn back. We got a pawn back. Now, six happens because it's the most obvious move in this one, but it's also the most move. Because it's a natural move, you want to get that knight out of the out of the center of the square because it's really powerful there because this 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 yeah there's this knight is unstoppable so now this is a mistake because now what we can do is bishop check yeah, that's what we can do. Bishop check. Now, no matter how he blocks it, he sadly dies. The end for black. Okay. So now, let's say black does bishop to d7. What we do is takes and take. And take. And now his queen is gone. You're supposed to win. And back in position. If he was wise enough to not take with the queen, well, you're actually one one full piece up. And again, but now, but now the computer evaluation gives white a plus ten evaluation. Now that's a lot because it's pretty rare. And you want to get plus 10 evaluation from a computer, and you also want to win the game, so there you go. Okay, now, back in this position, what if black instead does c6? Well, again, no matter what he blocks with, we still get him out of there. Let's do d take c6. And then once black tries to take us knight and become greedy, the greed falls all on him. So yeah, so never be greedy. Not in life, not in chess. Now what we do is C takes B7 check as a forced, the forced, what? This is a forced chess um, position. So now after bishop D7, queen takes D7 check. Queen takes d7, b takes a, a equals queen check, knight to c8, queen to c8 check, king to e7, and queen takes d7. And we end up taking the rook, the knight, and the queen. And, well, this king is going to have to go out of here. Actually, it's gonna die because this bishop is lurking here, and it doesn't really have that much squares. Sure, it can try to get a deep attack, but still, it doesn't have that much squares because these pawns are gonna be ready to come up and lawn mow the king. And this queen is also way too powerful. It can just jump into the game. And you don't even expect it to get there. So it can just jump into the game. And bang. You lose the game. So. Back to. Back here. What if instead of moving here. And the knight was actually here. He just moves here. Well this is what happens. Bishop to d3. Now, once black is thinking, black is thinking, okay, well, mm, this is actually bad. Well, this knight is gonna die or gonna get captured anyways, so why not, why not just take a free pawn, right? Well, if knight takes f2, and like, 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 he just wants to open up the tonight, die, because it's gonna die anyways, and it's okay, he loses, but he actually kind of, but now, let's say, like, back into this position when he did that, he knew that it was a mistake, and, well, yeah, he just surrendered, you know, gave up a knight, and you're still up a knight, okay, okay, but now, we take 
Bishop takes Jesus, Mother Black is amazed and gets more greedy. Takes the queen, it's all gonna fall on him, the greed's gonna fall on him. Bishop takes f7, check. King to e7. The other bishop comes into action with bishop g5, check. King to d6. Knight c4, check. King to c5. And note, these are all forced moves. He's, he ha just has to go on this death walk. Yeah, I know, it's a death walk because... Because we're hunting down the kick, well, king, we're trapping the king, and he doesn't really have that much squares. And we don't even care about this because we'll just go for the big head. Okay. Now, and now the final move will be if, if queen takes g5, then oof. Oof. B4 just is checkmate and let's say if you're thinking about taking the the b2 pawn so it doesn't move to b4 to checkmate the king then it's still a checkmate because the other bishop is still working the dark square bishop is still working in the dark musty waters or dark bad waters and comes up like a big bad shark and eats the king up with bishop to e3 checkmate and there you have it folks the black king is officially gone it's a goner so i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye